Okay, just a quick video. Um, I'm a Robert VK7VZ, and uh, today we're just doing a quick video on an amplifier I've put together for a friend, uh, Hayden. And uh, basically, it is um, two boards on the PA deck, water cooled, running four MRF 300s. So two MRF 300s per board. Um, we got the low pass filter as the second level, um, 10 dB attenuator. We got uh, the water cooling. Up the back is uh, the radiator. And uh, basically, um, I did a video a while ago because um, we're having all sorts of trouble with these uh, eBay special Melbourne made. Um, four MRF 300s on a board and uh, I got stung badly by uh, the gentleman who I won't name so did a friend of mine and uh, judging by some of the um, emails that I've received a few others have been stung too but anyway um, the boards on this one came out of Greece as did the low pass filter and uh, as did the control board here uh, that is from Russia. This is my homebrew combiner, homebrew splitter, because we're running two separate amp boards here. And uh, yeah, basically, I did calibrate it to a borrowed bird, but I've since taken it out of line because we're getting well over a thousand watts. Uh, we're getting 1200 and a little bit more if I crank it up. So uh, I've got it running straight to a homebrew. Um, what are they? 800 watts a piece, so 1600 watt um, heat sink. So anyway, so these are the same MRF 300s that I pulled off the uh, Melbourne board that just, well, basically was a hunk of junk. So here we go. We've got 52 watts here. Again, into a 10 dB attenuator. Uh, testing one two. Testing one two and uh, as I said I calibrated the bird but it was peg uh, calibrated this meter to the bird but it was uh, pegging the bird and since it belongs to Brenton I didn't want to break it so I have since um, gone direct uh, I did check the calibration here at 100 500 and the 1000 and it matches the bird precisely so uh, anyway there's a look at the front panel and as you can see uh, we're on 20 meters scan back over on 20 meters here and uh, it's happily producing the goods on 20 meters and that's 1200 watts measured after the filter so we're not measuring uh, the pre-filter power we're actually measuring the power after the filter and uh, I've managed to get this up to about 1300 watts uh, using another watt meter uh, that I normally run on mine which is good for 1500 watts but uh, yeah, as you can see, she's quite happily doing it. Uh, our ambient temperature today is about 23 degrees. And, uh, you know, I've been talking on it for a little while yet. And, you know, we're just starting to nudge up in the temperature now. And, uh, yeah, if anyone would like one of these, um, I'll leave my email in the description. Um, I don't know if I'll be using MRF 300s, it all depends but I uh, certainly can use the single LD MOS, the MRF uh, 1K80H, and uh, I would be making them out of boards out of uh, Russia. It's just easier. Um, but yeah, just a, a quick look again. I'll drop the, the microphone. So, um, you know, basically we've got some relay controls. We've got PTT control. Um, we've got... Uh, all the trip outs on the board here with uh, you know SWR excessive power and excessive current which again is duplicated on the front we've got our band selector um, and uh, here you know when the PTT comes on we go into PTT we've got 50 volts on so whenever the 50 volts is turned on um, we've got that we've got the 12 and uh, those gauges are only flickering on the front of the amp. They don't flicker to the eye. It's only on the video. 
and uh, over here what we've got going on is a flat pack 2 running the 50 volts it's actually running uh, 53.9 I think it drops down to a 53.2 under load and uh, the 12 volts is a 200 amp uh, Dell power supply so um, look it's just a basic setup um, as you can see I'm geared up to to do this stuff I may do a second video on this one showing the um, the output on a spectrum analyzer just to show everybody they're clean but uh, the filters do a really good job so uh, just one last look PA board there's two separate PA boards there each one has two MRF 300s for a total of four uh, on one of these uh, Greek boards I'm able to get 660 out so um, you know 13 20 watts is easy peasy I've seen it go a little bit higher than that but I didn't want to push it any further but uh, just for you to see again, now this is VK7VZ and uh, this is the water-cooled amplifier that I built for a friend. See you later guys.